The Phoenix Saga. So ultimately, or arguably, I don't think it's arguable. This is the best Marvel cartoon released. X Men '90s version. Yep, '90s version of X Men: The Animated Series. This will be season three, episode three, four, five. And, and people will argue there have been six and seven. There have been good cartoons nowadays. I mean, the Spider Man where uh, he's with Shield. That's not bad. Um, Spider Man original was pretty good. Actually, they all pretty much fall in Spider Man. X Men Evolution was okay. Um, X uh, Wolverine and the X Men was really good, but only got canceled after a season. Well, I never watched it. Avengers never Ooh, really got a good one. Iron no. Man never really got a Fantastic Four never really got Silver Surfer was bad. Incredible Hulk, not really a good one. X-Men 90s cartoon. Awesome. If you weren't a fan awesome. of comic books and comic cards, this is what brought you in. And they really like understood the subject material. Cause like every season there'd be like four or well, two or three like four part kind of like mini sagas within that season. Yeah, they take they take stories right from the comic book sometimes or you, or they base them off things in the comic books and kind of make it into a saga. And then give you four episodes, episodes to like yeah. unfold it, right? So the Phoenix Saga was five episodes. Correct. In season three. So going into them taking works you, and turning them into sagas, this probably wasn't their best version. No, do you want to go that. episode to episode? Because I got, I got my notes written down yeah, yeah, per we episode. Can, we can do episodes. So it's five episodes. Yeah. Um, I hope you have the names of them because I do not. Yeah, Sacrifice is the first one. Part one is called Sacrifice. Which is very cool because it kind of opens the idea of that there's more to this universe than what uh, like a nine-year-old kid would be picturing, right? Yeah. That's yeah, when all we big. assume everything's on the Earth and like obviously they got to deal with Sentinels and all yeah. that shit. Earthbound. But this... Yeah. This one opens up with uh, Professor X having like space opera nightmares. Right. That's what I wrote down. Uh, so he calls him to the, he calls all the X-Men to the, to the war room except for Rogue. Rogue's out on a... Mission. On a mission. And... Tells him to hop into a shuttle. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like get into the space shuttle. So it's leaving Earth doesn't mean a, you got to get in. It. Doesn't miss a beat. He's like, hey man, I got this premonition. You got to go take over the spaceship, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, what, you just woke us up in the middle of the night. Just I'll, <laughs> I'll buy into it because it's X Men, which is rem, 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 bookmark this because if we ever talk about uh, X Men Dark Phoenix, the movie, it similarly <laughs> starts like that. And my one gripe was like, how the fuck are these guys prepared for space? But when I was a kid. These guys seem fully capable. Yeah, of watching space. it, watching it as an adult, it's like this is kind of rant. This is yeah. movie's this moving fast. I, I, and I would have accepted them walking out of the danger room, being like, "That was a good space, um, like se- sequence simulation that we practiced one time." Yeah, but no, they're like, "We're already space ready." They already have a suit that fit that fits Beast, which is <laughs> which is weird. Everyone else has a normal and size yet, dimension, and yet Storm's the one that stays in the ground, which makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense, but you'd think they'd have a spacesuit for her before they have one for Beast. I know, I know her powers are useless in the I guess. but... Okay, so let's talk about the roster that went up. So Beast went up, Wolverine, Gambit... Cyclops. Cyclops, Jean Grey, Rogue goes? No, Rogue's on a mission. And then Jubilee, Jubilee is a... distraction to yeah, yeah. So they have to she, spring into the she's, space she's station. Bait. <laughs> yeah, they have to spring into the, the, the NASA, basically. And she's bait, yeah. So they can get on. Did you call it NASA? NASA. So you, you're you not American. You NASA? Don't, you don't say the NASA? NASA? For the three people listening in America... Uh, <laughs> We say NASA up it's, north. It's, last month, NASA. last week, there's only one American. It's like well, 50 Canadians and one American. Well, you know. <laughs> he heard how you pronounce certain yeah, words with A. That I, motherfucker. So they went I'll to teach NASA. Jim how to pronounce They language. went to NASA and basically just started running amok as they. So, like, these guys are essentially the best criminals, too, because they do a lot of breaking yeah. and entering. And uh, they had to. There's a moment where they basically knock out the original. Um, Cyclops hilariously zaps them, too. The astronauts. <laughs> uh, so I again, I, I don't understand the levels of his optic blast because he, he he stunned them pretty He's nicely, the and he doesn't always put his finger on the trigger, which he no. usually has on the side of his head. Sometimes this he can just control. Yeah, there's some inconsistencies, but he puts them to sleep. I mean, it's 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 reminiscent of uh, '80s version uh, Turtles cartoon, where it's like it's not even like the same. They don't even paint the same colors of the and like the character voices are different people. Like, yeah. It's like someone was sleeping at the wheel. But when you're a kid you don't realize these things. <laughs> no, you don't care. You're kind of like, oh. Now, now when you're a never. geek and you have a podcast you're like, wait a minute. Wait a second. I'm judging this so hard. This 20 year old cartoon. Because clearly people care about us judging a s- stupid amazing cartoon. Anyway, so they knock out the cast. 25 year olds, right? Yeah, go ahead. They, they knock out the crew except and for one. Dr. Corbo who's and leading the mission. Who like you need someone to actually fly the, the Okay, so here's a thing for me. With 
uh, yeah. spaceships, you yep. assume that every person is integral on getting shit done. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So the captain sure has the like well, can drive it, but there's someone making sure oxygen levels are correct. Yeah. And someone's making sure the thrusters. I'm pretty well, sure that's someone's how it works. controlling the arm. Because I because I know astronaut teams are usually like one's a geologist, one's like a botanist, right? One's like so I don't know, but I, they must it's be not just one dude flying it and a whole bunch of X-Men are like, oh, we'll just sit down, you know? Like I'm pretty sure that doctor did like what's the what's the captain's name? Doctor Corbo was like, hey man, can you make sure the CO2 level are right and Wolverine's like uh, and just like flip, flips the switch like oh first of all I missed his voice so much but, yeah. <laughs> this is the first time I've watched the show in years which so. is, cr- which is so, criminal so, in itself see. he's got a great cast voice Cyclops has a great cast voice Beast has a great like across oh, the they're board great. They're great they voices, all yeah. sound this is how you want it to sound yeah when huh? I read the comics that's how I, I still hear their voice fair enough so anytime head. we see X-Men movies and they don't sound close to that we're like I'm rattled I walk out I walk out like Jubilee movie. sounds like a child, and yeah. she actually has speaking lines, yeah. which is yeah. It's, un- un- she does things. She, I know we she know she has a role. Listen, I know she sucks overall, but, but she they, does but, things. But they play yeah. her up yeah. as like you suck, but yeah. we'll take you along. You're yeah. a runaway. You, for whatever reason, you like dish clothes because you're always wearing these soap gloves. Because I don't know how that ha- that wouldn't help with your powers, right? Like you're shooting. This is going to turn into like Spiral. what we hate yeah, about yeah, X-Men. Let's keep going. Let's keep going because there's, so, there's a lot to cover. Anyway, they're all in the ship now. They all are flying off to space to the space station because obviously the premonition. And this fucking guy in red spandex named Eric the Red shows up. He's badass. I, I like think, Eric the I Red. I think he sucks. I think he's I, li- ass. I, think he's I ass. like hey, Eric the Red. If we're going to we're going to go across this saga, this whole series of episodes. We're going to talk about a lot of people we don't and do like. But we're going to talk about how much Eric the Red sucks. No. Cuz all he does is shit the bed. That's all he does. He's the perfect Starscream for X-Men. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He can't well, wait he's... to call someone a treacherous spy, <laughs> turn the back on him. He's like, "I ah, I should have taken over this entire time." He's amazing. He's got a crop top, right? He's, the, the he's sex, these, hold up the sexiest outfit in this show. I he's think. straight out of like he he man and the Masters of the Universe like universe. Like he just wore a crop yeah, yes, top. Yes, he is. Show, yes. Showed off the abs. Yeah. Like he's all thighs. Yeah. He should be from and me, muscle. Yeah. He doesn't like. I haven't seen a power, but he flexes like a motherfucker. I, I just flex. He does not. I I would love him and fucking Skeletor <laughs> being like, we have to get. He does. He looks like he's right out of He Man. Yeah. Absolutely right. So, someone that likes He-Man and He-Man toys. Yeah. So, they get smoked by Eric the Red. He's uh, But it, he... his power set, like... So, every, everyone for these next five episodes have a power strength higher than the X-Men. And the X-Men are already on a high power yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these are all space dudes. So, space dudes automatically get... Uh, the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, so he, he and he, he somehow mind control. I can't remember. No, he puts the things in the back of the astronauts' necks. Right. Right? So the, these brainwashed astronauts try and, like, launch the X-Men into space. Um, and he kind of... He takes Corbo into a different room. And this is what I love about 90s. He, f- he tells Corbo his entire plan. Right. <laughs> you need someone to give off the entire exposition of what's happening. <laughs> in this, because we don't have a he's, jubilee in this episode. No, he, um, he doesn't know who Lilandra is or anything. But he's like, oh do- yeah, I want to, I want to kill her and destroy do- her. Doctor Corbo you know, acts yeah. as the yeah. audience, and he, we need to hear the whole space plan. It's so great, though. He just like just dishes this it. This is my guy, whole plan. You'll never stop me. It's I not like you yeah. have <laughs> superhuman mutant friends who can. And this is the first example. Put of up why, a fight. This is the first example of why I think he sucks. That's that, that's a reason why he's amazing. First of all, yeah. any villain that's willing to give the entire. Uh, plan before they've even killed you, like is clearly the best villain you're ever gonna come. So with. the X Men beat the the brainwashed astronauts, Easily. and yeah, yeah, handedly. And they're humans. <laughs> the only they so have, there's yeah. levels to this. <laughs> yeah, well, they were knocked out, right? X Men are higher than to, humans. To be, to be fair, the X Men were knocked out, except for Jean, right? Space space pirates are higher than uh, yeah, or should I say space pirates? Wait, we're not at that episode yet. Corbin and the X Men they take off. So, yeah, they take off, and Gene tries to drive the shuttle through some chemtrail, right? So right. there's so there's like some issue. There's a struggle for the ship, and all that jazz. And the X Men are left on it, but someone has to drive the ship through this chemtrail. Right, we're going through impending danger. Yeah, we need someone to right the wrong. So everybody needs to leave except for Gene. So they all because she's strong enough, she yeah. volunteers. Yeah. Obviously, there's. This is where uh, Cyclops flexes his muscles. Like, I'm the leader. I'm going to do it. And I was like, bang. Yeah. You're the boy, Scott. I love it. Yeah. And he's got that deep bass voice. But that's how he voice. is. That's, yeah, that's, how, that's like, completely I, Not even thinking about it. I'm going to no, do it. Gene. Everyone's like, you're not qualified. You can't yeah. do it. You're not strong enough. He's like, but I'm I'm the leader. Yeah. And she's like, nah, I got nah, this. He's nah, like, nah, nah, honey, damn. Honey. It's damn. Honey, I got this. So he swallows his pride. Yeah. Picks up his nuts. Yeah. And begins the long saga of Gene. Yeah. Gene. Yeah. But, and then, so the episode ends 
at the, during the chemtrail, right? With, with, a, with a to phoenix. be to yeah. be continued. And the phoenix, you see the phoenix kind of yeah. get into her. Something engulfing her. Part, so part two is called the Dark Shroud. Right. Okay. Which so is, I want to get that out there because I'm, I feel like I'm going to forget that. Yeah, and it's kind of religious overtones. Yeah. Well, the shuttle crashes. Racist. In Jamaica Bay. Also racist. <laughs> and G-Pub's out of the water as Phoenix. Not Montego Bay? No, Jamaica Bay. So they made up a bay or Jamaica has a bay? Jamaica Bay in New York. Jamaica, Jamaica Queens? Queens? Uh, so it's Jamaica Bay. That's really New York? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Can, they get better than yes. Can they get better than that? I would call it Red Stripe Bay. I would call it Red Stripe Bay. Bay. Now, tell me that's not dope. And then every summer they have the Red Stripe Bay yeah. like party or whatever, or yeah. beer fest. Yeah. The Red Stripe bikinis. Mm. We should talk about those <clears throat> issues at some point. Let's keep going with that. You, you, <laughs> but you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. The swimsuit issues <laughs> by X Men. Uh, yeah, she pops out. The, she goes, I am Phoenix, and then passes out, right? So. So she's absorbed by this phoenix power, but nobody knows what she's talking about. She sounds like a crazy lady. Yeah. But she's super strong and saved them all. So yep. they're like, benefit of the doubt, let's get you home, girl. Is this where she already gets a new costume? Yeah, she comes out with a new costume. Well, I don't and know how that works. <laughs> and then she falls. I don't know when the, the change gone. was made. I don't know yeah. if Phoenix... I just, I, I'm assuming it's kind of like Thor, like when he has the hammer, his or, costume changes. Or so Venom in the symbiote yeah. suit, where it's like, I can make yeah. clothes. Like, yeah. can you? Essentially. There's more to this, isn't there? Uh, Cyclops and Professor X have a disagreement on how to treat her. As per usual, right? And um, Professor X wants to go to the mind. Also, this is the beginning and, of this, and Cyclops wants to go with the heart. This saga is the beginning of Beast saying fascinating about eight hundred times. Do you think? I so? think yeah. I think he says it over. He's, I mean, he's them, he, been saying he's fascinating. Just, fascinating. He's he's quite fascinating. fascinating. <laughs> like he's he's well, they're in space, right? So they were in space. That's I mean. more fascinating. But he's yeah. constantly like, hey, well, like she has superpowers. Fascinating. fascinating. It is fascinating. So that, when the last when you the lost for that. a line, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'll yeah, get you that. got you got to get that. When the lost for a line, you'll hear his beast go fascinating. Mm-hmm. It's which, like, that's a beast which is the drinking game that you need to play if you ever play Phoenix on yes, drinking you game. Yes, you do. It's, it's fascinating. And or, every time they say Gene. <laughs> or costume changes by Gene. <laughs> or, or, or whatever. That if, second one, she changes. Fuck. If Cyclops or Wolverine says Gene. If Cyclops and Wolverine disagree on any matters oh, well, of you're anything, get the first time this is what you want to get drunk during a 90s cartoon, <laughs> clearly. Don't do it on a Saturday morning. Maybe say this for Saturday. Evening. Yeah, no. It's, uh, and then, yeah, so Beast examines the mind control components. Wolverine goes into a rage. Uh, for as, no real reason. Yeah, there, yeah. There wasn't, like, it wasn't a prompt to rage. She was like, you know what? I, I, had, I haven't been angry in a long time. Yeah. Gene's kind of hurt, I think. I was like, dude. And then Professor X Dark Side shows up to terrorize the X-Men, which is kind of weird. Was it? Yeah, I remember his projection kind of shows up. It's, it's Professor X in a cape, and he can walk. Oh, okay. His, the Professor X's dark side. Yeah. Actually, I like this. There's a whole... Yeah, it was weird, but... It so was. he's in his crazy, cool-ass wheelchair, which yeah. is fucking huge. Like, this guy can never get on public transportation, right? Like, it's the size of a fucking bus. Yeah. Um, But for whatever reason, like, his mind can't handle all the shit that's going on with it. So his his negative uh, unconscious yeah, splits, negative conscious, yeah. uh, manifests as a real person, and then goes to start fucking with his students. Amazing. Yeah. I, I would love yeah. that episode as itself, right? And Wolverine right away knows he's like he's like he, he's I, the first one to get to talk. I can't right? smell him. Yeah, he's like I can't smell him. That which ain't is Chuck. Which is a flaw in how you set up this episode because Wolverine would have been the last one I would have sent Professor yeah. X to yeah. go find. Like he like he dummied um Jubilee and like Gambit. Like he can conf- yep. he confused them on doing something to fight each other. Yeah, I can't remember what happens with Rogue. Um, for. Cyclops, he gets him where it hurts with like his mentality. He's like, yeah, oh, I did write notes. Um, he's like, uh, yeah, I was gonna say you have notes right in front no, no, of you. No, no, no. Th- this is for the other thing. I, oh. I actually have a legal pad. Where I was like, where I wrote down, um, he go- he goes for Cyclops' brain, where he's like, you're not, you're not worthy. You're never a true X Man, and like that hurts him in his heart. Yeah, so, like, yeah, yeah. That, he was being, it, he's being mean. Yeah, that, guys, it, he was being really mean. That incapacitates <laughs> him. He 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 like I can't remember who he fabricates, but he makes like another villain for another hero to fight, and they spend a lot of time trying to take that them down. So, like, his brain, for the most part, does a good job, except for when it comes to Wolverine. Who's yeah, like, Wolverine, and then he tells like, everybody else not real. that I, ain't him. Like, I can't smell him. He's got no scent. Where are we? Yeah, Professor X. So, when Professor X comes back to, he, he realizes what had happened. Right. And he's like, I can't I can't be here anymore. Yeah, he needs, he needs to check I'm a danger. He's, he's stressed. Yeah. So, psych, you're in charge. And then he kind of fucks off to Muir Island, right? Yeah, this episode was quick of, like, we need to things get happening. people in yeah, specific orders fast. But he's like, I'm going to Muir Island. I'm going to go hang with my Mora and Banshee. And I was like, what? All right. Yeah, he's with Mora, who are engaged. 
Yep. Who are engaged right now, and he's like, "Oh shit!" Because he, I think he thought he was gonna go there, and maybe get his dick wet a little bit. But uh, I, like, he, I know it's a retreat, but the option was there, and then he gets there, and he's like, "Oh shoot!" Never that's mind. old. That's an old flame. You know, you never, never mind. He thought he could get some backslide. Maybe, maybe, yeah, right. exactly. But Banshee's there, so we can't do that. Um, and Eric the Red's there, spying on the X Men as this shit goes down. Right? He's the best. He's not the best. He's the worst. Um, Charles has more visions about. The space opera and Lalandra. Yeah, and he finally meets Lalandra. Here's the thing that gets well. well, well this is cool because his his initial fucking flashbacks or flash forwards or whatever it is, it's just a weird like space like so alien this, this is, this insect is, costume. Okay. So you don't really know what it is till she takes her helmet. This is off. my this is my beef. Why if she's trying to contact him? Why is she wearing the fucking helmet the whole time? Like because he's scaring the guy half to death because she looks like a big robot bug, right? Yeah. And she takes the helmet off and she's some babe with a weird haircut. <laughs> it's like oh. You know, if you just contact me without the fucking helmet, maybe First we could have had some dialogue. I don't know why you're hair shaming her. <laughs> that was a very trendy haircut. I said and it was weird. I didn't say it was bad. Weird, weird can be trendy. Did you say trendy weird? Uh, no. All right, then. Uh, <laughs> second of all, uh, I well, he's got to work for it, first of all. <laughs> Two, I think it's just a precaution, right? So, I don't think... <laughs> why the hell? <laughs> crazy. He also knows about crazy. Yeah. Outfit. I would think that... Um, oh, crazy brother. Although, uh, Eric, sorry, what's his name? Uh, Xavier is one of the most powerful <laughs> You're Eric the Red, he's on your head, isn't he? That, is that open? I love him, that's why. <laughs> he's amazing. I can't wait his to get that. Voice is so I can't annoying. wait to get that poster. <laughs> We're going to cast him. Eric the Red. Jared Butler. Butler. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that uh, even though he, uh, Professor X has a strong as mine, she would have at least kind of sent out these Psyonk waves to everybody just to kind of figure out, like, who can I trust on this who, new planet? Who's, who's hollering back? So I'm Professor X is a holler back girl. So much like sending off nudes, I don't put my face in it. I protect my neck until I know I can trust the person on Next the Next time, dress your dick up like a, like a metal bug and see how that gets you. I think it'll give me... Um, <laughs> it might actually. Some, the, some, the, the, it adds, some solid it adds, dates. It adds, it adds some mystery. Some solid dates. Solid dates. Because they, they end up doing some basically online How dating anyway, too, yep. when they start just mind-fucking. Yeah. So, you but know, she, she put a condom on it first. But she tells them all about her crazy brother who wants to control the crystal of Macron. Right. And... How he will rule the universe if he yeah. gets his power. It's it's similar to um, Jafar and Genie with a lamp. Fair enough. You can, Fair enough, you yeah. can insert everything yeah, else Yeah, actually, yeah. And, you're and right, kind of, yeah. kind of fits in. Uh, she, There's no street she, she Yeah, she violated the crystal's ancient sanctuary. That's what she tells them. It sounds like so some, it sounds like now. someone jerked off on it. Yeah, that. that's what I'm saying. Like that's someone, a weird someone, choice. Someone over. was rubbing on it too friendly. She also has a weird voice. Like it's almost like you know the Lendra. like when you have when you're talking in front of a fan. I like it. Her voice is permanent like that. At first I was like, that's weird, but you get used to it, it's kinda cool. This again, this is all of part of her appeal that fucking X goes crazy over. And you can yeah, oh, and you can tell there's like some sexual ass tension he, there. He loves her. And then all of a sudden loves her off. Juggernaut cock blocks. Well, that's his little brother. Yeah, he just kicks or in the older door. Brother, yeah, yeah. He just kicks in the door like, ah! And we get the quintessential, I'm the juggernaut, yeah, bitch! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that ends that, ends that one. So, it's, And then part three is called The Cry of the Banshee. So wait, it's juggernaut and uh, what's the other dude? His handler. He doesn't come yet. His handler's in this series. Though. Yeah, okay. uh, Black Tom. There you go. <laughs> I remember from Deadpool. <laughs> you killed Black Tom! <laughs> you killed Black Tom! <laughs> Spoilers if you ever have seen Black Tom. <laughs> what a great name. <laughs> For a white guy. Black Tom? <laughs> Don't you mean African-American Tom? Uh, so part three starts to cry the Banshee. Now we're back with Chuck and Lalandra, and suddenly she's in a really sexy outfit. Not so, not the space she, outfit. She took off her space so suit. Here's a costume change again, so take a drink. Another costume change. Fair enough. Right? I'll accept it. With that. I will accept it. <laughs> I, think, I think Professor X is in a, a very dapper robe as well, too. Yeah. yeah he's quite, definitely not wearing a uh, suit. No he's, no, he's quite comfortable. Who puts on his pants? See? Does now he, we're asking does the real he, questions. Does he just mind himself up? And now we're asking the real in? questions. Actually, I know he puts on his own pants. My question is, does he wear underwear? Because I would not. Well, he can psych. Can he lift himself? Yes, but I wouldn't go through the effort of putting on underwear <laughs> and then pants. I'd be like, fuck that shit. Like, if it leaks, it leaks. You're in a giant yellow bus anyways. You I'm, I'm wearing shorts everywhere, bro. Shorts everywhere. Like, you only really have to see this much material. Until someone uh, comes out and starts dangling me around. Yeah, so they, so they fight Juggernaut. Halfway through the fight, she decides to put her gun on full power. And take him out. Because it was just on low power. I don't know why you'd fight a guy and... Again, and you, I, you forgot the rules. It goes humans as a base level, right. X-Men, then super space... So Lalandra's, of, Lalandra's up there. So, only, she's, so she's lower above than... Juggernaut. Of course, all, all the space right. people are above so Juggernaut. So she puts her thing on stun, 
like number level one. Thinking that she can he's, a no, him? All right. he's a normal human or X Men. He's like, oh my my, I'm gonna fuck it. They're not coming there to destroy mankind. That's very easy for them to. Any one of these guys, including Eric Eric the Red, could have pulled a Loki and just took somebody's eye and be like, yo, this is my Earth. Eric now. the Red's not here right now. I'm just saying. He's just watching. Based on the level of intergalactic power, yeah, they can all rule this little blue marble. Okay? Yeah, okay. So Friendly. she turned the stun up. And knocks his helmet off. And knocks his helmet off. Black Tom Cassidy shows up <laughs> to save the day. Gotta love Black Tom. <laughs> Black Tom. Who With is this actually, cane. Who's actually Banshee's brother, by the way. And he's badass yeah. in the comics. Yeah. Mm, he's okay. Compared but, to Banshee. Yeah, okay, yeah. Banshee just screams and has a weird, has a queer outfit. Yeah. Um, Actually, the, the outfit is the one thing that makes sense for him. You like the, the like squiggly lines the, on his the wings? The frills and everything? I like, I like the flying suit. But he the, seems like back to but fuck, then the, 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 the low universe. V-neck. He, he's kind of, um, what's that dude? Flash and... Uh, Flash. Ah, what's master, What's a Flash? Flash Gordon. There you go. He, for oh, me, Flash Gordon. He belongs in that okay. type of... Like, he's straight out of the 70s. Yeah. Same with Black Tom. Same with kind of Juggernaut. Same haircut, too. Yeah, all those dudes. Like, you can tell where certain eras of mutants appeared first, right? Because Gambit looks straight out of the 90s. Yes. So yeah, Gambit does the trench putting him, coat. <laughs> yeah, putting him next... That's why certain squads yeah. make sense next to each other. <laughs> putting him next to... And that's why Storm Mohawk looks completely different era than Storm um, full white suit. Full white suit, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, I, li- I like 70s-inspired Banshee. Jug, do you like Jug, do you like Juggernauts? So long, Chuck! <laughs> <laughs> and chucks him out the window. <laughs> did you like that one? That was... Uh, I, I, that gave me a giggle. So long, Chuck. Does and he's got good voice acting too. He does. It. Yeah, it's yeah, big and lumbersome, and, and is that even a word? Lumbersome. I don't know. It, it is, is now. It is now. I just invented it. There you go. I, th- I think it's a real word, though. Is it probably? No, cumbersome is a word, and lum- lumbering is a word. I think I merged the two words together. I don't know if them. What's the belt that you wear for a tuxedo? Cum- cumber. Cumber batch. That's what you're talking about. No, that's that's, that's, that's Benedict's that, last name. That's an actor. What's the what's the belt? When yeah, you no, you're talking about the big belt. It's called the cummerbund. 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 Yeah. Cummerbund. I, I was like, you're, you're so you. <laughs> I was like cummerbund. You wear your cummerbund very high where you were. Like, I was shrugging. like, no, cummerbund. I wear a corset. Fair enough. Um, hot girl summer. So Banshee scream <laughs> saves. Yeah. City girl summer. Yeah. Banshee scream saves, and Moira talks to Charles and tell him tells him it all isn't real because they show up. And he's like, oh, the juggernaut was here. And I'm like, no, he They're he like, wasn't. yo, dude, you're freaking out. Your I'm mind pretty sure is so he broke strong. through the wall, though. Mm-hmm. And the wall, did they, was the wall even, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. It? I don't think so. Because that's a weird thing. Oh, it's not real, but the wall's broken down. So something did happen. Is it? Maybe. We gotta Maybe go back. We gotta go, we can go, this wall gate. <laughs> I like, I like when, uh. I like when she's like, it isn't real. Like, what's going on? And he's like, because I love her, Moira. <laughs> Moira's like, I'm just walking into this fucking room, Charles. What the fuck are you talking about? Meanwhile, I'm watching like, pussy gonna get you killed. You know? I will. Uh, he we... doesn't have much to live for. No. But... I hope his dangling works. But the guy, like, he just met her and he's he's dropping the album. Like, Actually, they, on, they, they can both honeymoon in Savage Land and just really go at it for fucking two weeks. He doesn't get his legs back in Savage Land, does he? Yeah, he does. I guess he does. You lose your oh, powers. Oh, you're fucking right. Yeah, yeah, right. He walks he around. Oh, he's shit. like, oh my God. We should do those episodes. You're onto something. Savage, we do... Land Savage Land episodes? Savage Land honeymoon? Because inter- then it's all about Sora. Here's the interesting thing. Uh, it's funny you said that because there's, between the two sagas, this saga and the Dark Phoenix saga, right. which we'll also be doing, um, the the Savage Land episodes is, right in, is in between. Yeah. yeah, there's three episodes in between, and two of them are Savage Land. That makes sense. Uh, anyways, so we go. We flash back to Jean, and she's having Phoenix dreams. Um, not knowing what's inside of her. Yeah, and, she's freaking. And out. She's, first time, it's n- it's not Cyclops. No. So. <laughs> Hi uh, Funny enough, Wolverine tells Cyclops to like toughen up, and they kind of talk about it. That's, Charles. And, that's yeah. the f- most fucking hypocritical thing. Like. Wolverine's the, he's the biggest fucking marshmallow. He just clouds it with fucking claws and rage. But he's soft on everyone. Like, that's why he's always in a bad mood. He's like, I don't have the girl I want. I don't have the height I want. I'm losing to this dude that wears fucking yellow, like, underwear. I'd be pissed too, but I wouldn't tell anyone to toughen up. I'd be like, I'd fight you for her. As though it, um, he's always in the danger room in a tuxedo, no, fucking yeah. re- wrestling like, no. sentinels. Uh, and then it comes, we find out that a therapist. Juggernaut and Black Tom Cast, you were hired by Eric the Red. Here's reason two why he sucks. Why? That's he, a great fucking combo. No, that's fine. But he then he tries to swindle them, and he gets strong armed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he's like, ah, you 
puny humans or they, earthlings? First of all, like, they didn't they nah, didn't do son. the job they were signed up for. I'm not paying for that. They do you pay got... mo- do you pay movers to look at your furniture or do you pay movers to move your furniture? No, the problem is that he tried to do it like like he was some sort of bully. Like you gotta like He is a bully. You, no, but you're not gonna bully the juggernaut. First of That's all, not, he, Eric's he abs are better than Juggernaut's abs. Juggernaut probably doesn't have abs. He's just thick. No, no, he's got abs. Well, he's got etched on abs. Oh, his... in the suit. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming. Right. Yeah. No, no, he's, he's a body, like, he's body built thick. So he would have fucking abdominals. Abdominal He's strong. He's strong. Uh, the but X-Men like, show like up. Eric's so af- after, <laughs> after Juggernaut tosses Eric, um, <laughs> the X-Men show up. Uh, Banshee tries to give a le- lecture to Wolverine. And he's just like, fuck off. I can smell jugs. And Lalandra sends Chuck a mental image of the Cassidy crest so they know what they're looking for. Where they are, yeah. Who they're looking for, I should say. And yeah, they know and where that, and that's where, and that's, that's where Banshee kind of yeah. look. Hey, I, I, I'm helpful. <laughs> Banshee's like, oh, I know that crest. I know, they, yeah, yeah, that's the family's crest. Um, that's the one thing he did in this entire saga. And then yeah, we he did. And then we, we and assume, then he, so he, we assume banged more. He, he he flies them to the to the castle. That the where the crest is, where, yeah. yeah. And then Wolverine's like, "Moat like yours, we should have snuck in here with a marching band." <laughs> <laughs> he gets good one liners. <laughs> he does. He does get good. Like, like, how do we know what we're looking for? And he's like, "She's from another galaxy. You see a woman you don't know, rescue her." <laughs> <laughs> That's also a great I was line. Like, yes. I was like, now I remember why I loved Wolverine so much when I was a kid. That would have been a perfect Festive moment line. for Beast to walk in and say, "Fascinating, fascinating, ah, fascinating." Uh, so we know a fight's about to break out. It's funny that Black Tom is Banshee's little brother. But he looks like 30 years older than him. Did you notice that? Pussy's going to keep you young. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Banshee's getting the pussy. Yeah. And Black Tom Cassidy, who's like the bad boy. He's Isn't getting he, the juggernaut. He's not get- <laughs> yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't want that. And tops and bottoms are both gross. That. Gross on that. Then you get too much. And they're both gross. Either yeah, you're getting too much a, yeah, dome. No. Or you're getting no. too much. This red crystal from. Oh, I can't remember where you got the fucking amulet thing from. So I, the X-Men rescue Lalandra. And the Superman looking guy with a mohawk shows up. Your boy. He's not your boy, Gladiator. Damn it! I was thinking of a. You're gonna say, "Oh, you think of something?" I was thinking of trying to think of <laughs> something just, else. I didn't. I said your boy. You just stopped. Yeah, I was like, "He's not my boy." <laughs> I don't want to start it off that way. I don't uh, get him, but I don't mind him. Uh, look what I wrote in my notes. Actually, here. I like him now because Gladiator, Gladiator, Gladiator where, where he is now. Gladiator shows up, tosses Juggernaut, and confirms what we already knew: Eric the Red sucks. Well, that's There's what you, reason that's three you know. why. Are you, well, you can't compare him to Gladiator. <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> That's Optimus the fucking Starscream. Who are you going to pick on that? How often does Starscream win that battle? He doesn't. Okay? When Optimus shows up, uh, everyone's got to bow down. And I'm going to give uh, Gladiator the Optimus reigns. Okay, whatever. Gene, Gene pops I get a whatever for that. Yeah, it's true. Gene pops out of bed. Uh, Press Jack sends out a distress call, right? For Lalandra. And makes Gladiator look like a chump change. Um, right? Because Gene comes up. Right. And kind of tosses Gladiator around. Yeah, for a Jean Grey arc, she's very limitedly. In yeah, it. she hasn't. She's barely in this episode, just besides her groaning in bed. And uh, hey, uh, how are you? And switching costumes. Yeah, switching got co- like with that. Yeah, just but like that's part of the, the Phoenix Force. Yeah. Phoenix yeah. Force, you get your 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 pick of the litter of, of changing outfits. Right, and then the Emperor shows up. Right? Does it, yeah, he comes up eventually. Don't they go to? Well, maybe I'm thinking of the Dark Side. Maybe the, yeah, Phoenix is, is. You've learned that Phoenix is a child of the Macron crystal. Right. You get more exposition of what the Phoenix is, how strong she is, and why it's kind of a separate entity. Yeah, which leads into part four, which is called the Star Jammers. Which is awesome. Which is cool. This is a good Space episode. Pirates, yeah. This is my favorite episode. This is where, of this this where it picks up. Yeah, right? this is my favorite episode of the, the, the saga. Yeah, so the launching is back to her ship, so Phoenix. Because they go back to space. It. Yeah. That's partly why. Phoenix is like, okay, I'll take you back to your ship. Psych Beast and Storm show up because they weren't there this whole time. Uh, and they, what was so great about this part is like they show up in the in the in the jet, right? Fascinating. Yeah, they show up in the jet, and everybody's got all the the villains are gone already. Fascinating. And Psych Beast and Storm. Fascinating. Come out the jet like full speed. Like, yeah, they're ready. Like, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're, yeah, they're ready to roll. <laughs> and everyone's everybody, like, guys, it's what's slow, it's slow like, down, what? Yeah, gonna, like, no, 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 we gotta go. Like this is. So that had me laughing pretty good. It was like, dun, 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 dun. as soon as the music kicks in, you know something's <laughs> about to get busted, right? But nobody, so, everybody's gone already. So well, they, no, yeah. they, they played the musical cue. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Gene teleports most of them away. Uh, we get some cut some using her new powers, so nobody really knows what she's doing and if she's strong enough, and yet she's still biting everybody and no, still kind of sh- flexing her muscle. We get some cool cutaways here of like Captain Britain, 
uh, Hellfire Club, and Doctor Strange. Some things going like, on some in the world, some cool stuff. So they, and the, the the ripples of what would happen. As she's teleporting up, it's like, oh, this is this is like an expanded universe. Correct. Like, this is pretty fucking cool because you don't really you don't often in the X Men cartoons you don't often see. Uh, don't say Hellfire Club. No, no, you <laughs> see them, but you don't often see like Avengers people. He, right? Captain. Oh yeah, Captain Britain. Captain is. Britain. Yeah, he is. Uh, Doctor Strange is yeah, he's in Defender, whatever. Uh, so they get in the ship. Star Jammers come and shock them all. <laughs> yeah, they're like, "Fuck you guys!" And Gene right away. There's Corsair's there, so you, we know at this point. As a kid, I didn't, I didn't know at this time, but you know, it's it's Scott's dad, right? Right. So she picks up on that immediately, and she's like, "I can't tell Scott." That's his Which dad. is the stupidest thing I was like, ever. Why not? That's the one thing you can yeah, tell him. Yeah. This is something like you can give him a piece of happiness and peace of mind. And you're like, nah. Or at least tell fucking Starjammer dude, hey man, that's your that's son. Your boy. Don't yeah. fuck him up. Yeah. Like, you tell one or the no. two. You don't keep that secret yourself, no. Phoenix Force. She kept it fuck right. Fuck you. Yeah. yeah she's, or you tell Wolverine. That was, yeah. And that let was, him brood over that, it. That Because he likes to brood. He loves brooding. So that we, that was a bad move. Uh, the the Starjammers come and they take Scott and the crystal. Out. It does, And it doesn't even like, like, there's no motivation for it. It's not a plot device. No. It, it's just a, like a nugget of truth that happens to be true in the comics. A strange for for fucking years and it sh- almost shattered your life. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you about it though. Why? And then you and then you saw the dad who's like, "Yo, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker that looks a lot like a son that I used to have," but I don't know. And you're not gonna tell the dad either. Like, yeah, it's it's cold fuck, cold blooded. Fuck you, Gene. Yeah, she's cold blooded. So this is why I assume that Phoenix is taking over. Because because that cold blooded move, right? Yeah, there? yeah, she's like, I don't have time for this shit. Uh, yes, yeah, it's so not they, Family Feud. They take Crystal, the Crystal, and Scott. Uh, and they contact uh, Deken, who is Lilandra's crazy brother, right. the Emperor. He's got a cool haircut. Well, no, he's got a cool crown. He's got a lot. He's of got eye- a really, he's got he's a really got cool a of, crown. Got yeah. a lot of eyeshadow. He's got but, a really cool crown. But I'll let that pass. Uh, I think they're going for something Egyptian like esque. Yeah, it, yeah, definitely with with some with some mascara. And he kind of looks like a shaman. Yeah, yeah. He's got the shaman outfit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No, it's just that's my uh, point of contact. Uh yeah, so he wants to deal the crystal to uh Dekan. And then while he's dealing that, he wants Scott to blow him away. Because it's a smuggler's world. Yeah. And basically uh I was like, that's kinda cool. What's the, like, what's the Star Jammer's name again? What's the dad's name? Corsair. Corsair? Corsair. He's basically Harrison Ford. Yes. But I thought that was kinda cool because when they first grew up Scott, I was like, Why are they taking him? Like, okay, they're gonna set up the whole dad and son thing. Nope. Nope. They want to use him as a weapon. I was like, Okay, that's a cool twist. I like that. It is. They even have a heart to heart. Is he the, the be- there. is he the best weapon that you can take? You can't take Gene, but of the other options, Cyclops, uh, Wolverine. That was my Wolverine. Role. I know. That was uh, like, I can't. Storm. I think Rogue. And Beast is on there, and Gambit. Yeah. yeah. I would take him Rogue personally, but you, you don't know. know. I don't know if you know what Rogue can fully do. Maybe not. Okay, fair enough. And same with Storm. But you've seen his. You know this guy's got something going on with his eyes because he's got weird eyeglasses on. Yeah, but you have Fascinating. To get, you know you're going next. Fascinating. Sure. Uh, but like I said, get Corsair and Psych have a heart to heart on the way there. And they talk about like his kids and stuff, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm human. I'm from Earth." Which is we- a weird revelation to something that you decided to call your weapon. Like you want to yeah. have a heart to heart yeah. after yeah. you're like, "You're yeah. my weapon." Yeah. You're basically. I need a slave. you to kill this guy. Yeah. That you don't know. Uh, I don't know you very well. But here, let's relate. Yeah. Let's yeah. relate to a father son type reminisce. way. Yeah. So I wanted them to either play it up of like, oh, I had a son who looked just like you, but yeah. I lost him. And, yeah. and, and Psychos would be like, I, I had was, a father just yeah, like you. I thought that's where it was going, and then it no, didn't. No. Um, but anyways, Gene tracks Scott mentally. Uh, and the what X- a bitch. The X-Men show up during the <laughs> deal, right? Can't get my old time, Gene. Get on Man, my head. Nosy ass broad. Um, <laughs> excuse me. But they X Men show up during the deal, right? The like acid reflux. Yeah, it is, and they fight the Imperial Guard. It was kind of it was it was fun to watch that because it was, it was like such all a these. Squ- it was a squash match. It deserved to be like two episodes. Yeah, because all these guys we don't know. Nope. Like I don't know any of these guys. I don't know that any guy of the looks powers. like Sunfire, and that guy I don't know. That guy, guy looks yeah. like a tissue. There's one yeah. like a like there's one girl like a log thing, and then like she's like yellow, but it looks like a booger when she's. Yeah. It's like wait a minute. And the green dude that's in the bigger green. Yeah, dude. that's that's cool. That was really cool. That kind of yeah. reminded me of like Wildcats, like the like, yeah, purple dude. the big dude. Yeah, so yeah. it seemed like and a little bit like Titanium Man. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought of. Um, I thought of like Titanium Man. But I don't know any of these guys, so no. I have no like I don't care that they get squashed. But then they end up squashing. No, and Rogue ends up dummy and Gladiator in one punch, which I thought that was uh, that was fun to me. But that, Bam! that changes the whole like that changed my whole chart system. 
Um, Eric the Red's she's back. She's lower tier. Your boy Eric the Red is back. Like he never left. And he tries to cut them off, gets one shotted by Corsair. Yeah. In my notes, he still sucks. <laughs> he still sucks. I mean, he looks flawless in his outfit. His outfit is great. Okay then. Like that's like that's just sincere. His voice acting is great. Yeah, because he's got this real nerdy voice. He's got the best name. Eric the Red. Yeah, it's very he, simple. Look how much you're loving Eric. You came he's over. He's just terrible. Yeah. You came over. The, um, you're, you're coming around. Unfortunately, the Ken ends up with the crystal, and this is where you're talking about Jafar with the genie, right? Yes. He kind of... He rubs it. He's like, I want all the power. And he gets it. And he becomes this giant pink crystal man. Yep. Which um, is weird. So, he, yeah, he, he basically unlocks the power and to channel the negative... To channel the power of the negative galaxy. So we're going like... Phantom Zone. Multidimensional. Yeah. yeah. It's basically Phantom Zone. Which kicks off part five, which is called the Child of Light. And that's when he becomes the Pink Diamond Man. Child of the Light. And Zaps the team goes to... Oh, it's, it's Children of the Light. It was weird though, because he... he children. Becomes, children? Children of the Light. What did I say? No, it's Child of the Light. I know, I'm thinking of the <laughs> Children of the like, Light. Was, you're correct in the title. I was like, oh, really? Oh, shit. Uh, got you off your throne real fast. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Really? <laughs> oh. what? Okay, sure. Fascinating. But he goes to create his own world within the crystal, and the phoenix flies the team to Corsair's ship, right. then tries to crack into the crystal. And this is Phoenix without G now. Yeah, Phoenix is good here, by the way. Phoenix is trying to help them. Yeah, well, Phoenix doesn't know what's what. She just knows who's bad. And she knows that the crystal is... Needs to be protected. Yeah, 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 her that's, responsibility. That's my whole, yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, the crystal implodes to Ken's ship and creates these waves that kind of touch Earth. Um, sure. there's like a black hole that opens up near the sun. Like I said, it was, it was kind of... I was like, this, 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 this is the fifth episode yeah. of your arc. You yeah. should have done this in episode three. Yeah, episode is, four is like, oh my God, this shit's going to get fucked up. Like, Five is, is where you fix this it. This is happening quick. You can't unload so much drama in one episode. Oh, or, the, or do like a 10-part arc. Yeah. I'm all right with that. The, I clearly watch this every Saturday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you can't. And you're going to soak not this like in you, as a kid. Who it's cares? not like you don't yeah. have the time to no. unfold it. You said you can do, like, just the timing and the choices. What, what, was, what was cool here that, like, was Gambit trying to get it in with Rogue? Because they thought the role was ending. Yeah, it's like, like, okay, okay, okay shit, let's, let's go. Them, so yeah. Still uh, can't get it. Damn. Rubber lips. I'm pretty sure. So a condom would protect them, though, no? Yeah. Rubber lips in yeah. a condom? Yeah. Yeah. Rubber lips in the corner. You can have some fun. Just don't and touch then, her. And then Jubilee. No, Jubilee's yeah. gloves and you're good. Yeah, so keep her... Uh, uh, so cut a hole. Just cut a hole. Reminisce of... Um, fuck, what's that movie? Fight Club? Where he's wearing the gloves. Yeah. Like, you want to get in on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's all he needs. Yeah. Uh, Star Jammers fly the ship through or the black hole. Or those full latex, latex comic suits. I have now... I want to talk about how I can have sex with Rogue because I'm thinking of all the... Oh, we you covered that like we you covered that in school when you're like a kid like there's different. Well, we didn't understand. Rogue is hot as hell. But sure, but we can't. didn't understand BDSM. No, you're yet. absolutely right. No. And she's the one who would probably love that more than anybody. I'd imagine so. Anybody. I think Storm's kinkier than she lets on personally. Well, with her first outfit, yes. Yeah. yeah. But only T'Challa gets that. She's smart enough to keep it in between the sheets. Oh God. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's Rogue what I'm is saying. like, you know what? I'm yeah. just gonna wear this like suit and you know Rogue's this saucy, yeah, and this tiny this tiny coat, you know, and respect me. And I'm like, sure, because if you don't respect her, she punch in the face. Yeah, the coat that, that, that's like, yeah. It's like so a like she coat. commands her sexuality, she fair enough, but she's never one to shy man. away from it. No, where Rogue is like, no, this is a business suit. Yeah, <laughs> even though Storm. it's start my mistake. Yeah. Even though it's still form fitting, and you know. Um, this she, is me she, doing business and that's how she, she talks in the country yeah yeah she's still ample yeah. in certain places it, it's still like business yeah where oh yeah she's a straight but she's strictly where business. Cyclops yeah. is like hey man I'm a outside plastic freak because I put my yellow underwear of all colors of underwear to put on <laughs> but it matches his boots Jank it matches his boots you, you couldn't find like brown boots he wants to match and brown underwear <laughs> <laughs> I like his black. I like. Well, that's the thing. Like when you get into certain video games, they have variant costumes and stuff like that, and you you get to see like the pantyones of what he could be wearing, or just not the underwear. I'm cool with everything except for the underwear. The underwear doesn't make sense. I like his. Me. I like his current stuff. The or the one where he's black with the red and the cross going over. That that was a really cool costume. I like that a lot. But it was a one piece. Yeah, it was one piece. Yeah, unfortunately. And no, no underwear. underwear. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. Superman picked up like this, don't pick up Superman. Superman stupid his, things. He ditched the. Correct. The undies, yeah. Correct. So don't but see, pick. But this is, this is the, what you're getting. So at. The, everybody so ditches the undies. Why except, they, yeah, except for Cyclops. It, it'll come back. <laughs> it'll come back. Um. So the Star Jammers fly their ship through the black hole. Wolverine's got underwear too. Think about it. 
beast. He's all underwear. That makes sense. So you're saying, you, okay, but I would you? just wear I'd underwear. Wear shorts. I wear shorts. I don't listen. If you want to wear jocks, you want to wear jocks. That's what I'm saying. But if all you're wearing is underwear, fine. So you're not arguing against underwear. You're just under, arguing against underwear over On top, top of, of shit. Else. Of course. Yeah, yeah, is no, there, is there another fair. argument? No. Clearly, if I'm Professor X, I'm not wearing any underwear at all. <laughs> no. I'm definitely not putting it above <laughs> my pants. I'm just pantsing guys with my mind all the time. Yeah. No, John. That's what you booty, want to do. Booty, booty, booty. And you, you don't pants no, people, like no, public? You, no, you said I'm pantsing guys with my mind well, yeah. all the time. Yeah, pantsing them. Guys. I don't give a fuck. It's in, like in public. Well, go find Eric them. the Red. I'm pretty sure he doesn't wear underwear <laughs> you know, either. He's too strappy. He's got all the strappy red on. I don't want to touch him. So imagine the underwear. He's dead right now. Of course, here one shot at him. He's not dead. <laughs> he's just... He's, he got, he's stunned. He's, actually, he's not dead. They turned it up, okay? Yeah. Um, and that makes sense with my chart because the space jammers are up with the intergalactic level, so... Their weaponry would be be able to fight that. What what do you think about Deken? Yeah, he laughed a fucking lot. He's one dimensional for so someone that's annoying. supposed to be the pivotal villain yeah. in this arc. I only I only, is... I only really got a taste of him in the exposition episode, which was like number two. Yeah, that's and, like a, like a quick little. And when he gets all the power in number five, and that doesn't really do anything. No. But all so. he does is laugh and call them fools. You fools! <laughs> which is he... ironic because <laughs> all I did was laugh at this goddamn fool. Oh, he sucked. When he went pine, when he went a uh, diamond, pink diamond, yeah, they were and, and, and ended up like a lemonade. Uh, he wipes- also underwear inside of his clothes. So yeah, but he he man. wipes the floor with them in his in his own world. Uh, but in the real world, like most of us, tractor beams <laughs> the empress. Yeah, because right. he really wants to kill Alondra, right? That's your sister. Relax, dude. Yeah, he really wants to kill her. It's for like, what? I don't know. Isn't he the older brother? So yeah. it's not even the bloodline thing. No, no, he's just being a prick. Wow. It's cami- oh, while while this is all happening, the black hole opens up. Remember we were talking about Doc, uh, Captain Britain and Doctor Strange before? There's even more cameos in this one. I thought you were going to go a different way with that, no. black, with that black hole comment. No, not the way you want me to. Uh, uh, well, I was the one pantsing guys with the... What's Storm's brother's name? I forget his name. The guy, kid who runs fast, right? <sighs> that, like adopted, but that's, yeah. that's their nephew, though. Is their nephew? Okay, yeah. So he, they, they show him, uh, they show Sunfire, they show Spider-Man, like his arm. Mm-hmm. Remember just his arm was like... Yeah, you see the, see the uh, thwap. War Machine... Alpha which is, Flight, which is a weird, like a weird suit for a War Machine. It's strange because yeah. if we ever do this, yeah. the Spider-Man cartoon, War Machine's in that too, and they and Iron Man's in that, and they draw their armor so fucking weird, weird right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the like no, yeah. nobody knew how to do anybody else's property. We should rights. do that. That's the that's the Venom we'll, one. That's we'll the do, last we'll, part of the Venom we'll one. Yeah. We'll or no, when the return of when Carnage comes. That's yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, they show two Alpha Flight members, Shaman and Snowbird. So I was like. I'm nice. a fly. Yeah, sick. <laughs> so you you went eight tit. Yeah, I was excited. Um, Fascinating. Fascinating. X Men and Shiar uh, oddly pleased when the growing guy one punches Dick in. Do you remember the case? Okay, so the one guy. That's what I wrote in my notes. So you remember that? Gro- remember the guy? Stop grow- writing notes. These aren't good. <laughs> These are hilarious. So the, there's that one Ant Man guy, right? On the on the Shiar. Yeah, he's huge. He's huge. You should have said he- not even Ant Man. You should say Giant Man. Goliath. I should say Goliath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's big. You're right. More like Goliath, but he just he just crunches the can in one he, shot, yeah, and dumb, Buddy falls and him. becomes like the Earth, and everybody's like, "Yeah, it's like you know, he's not, he's not done. gonna, he's yeah, not gonna." Get, this so. ain't it. Yes, yeah, this ain't it. Exactly. For your fifth episode, uh, yeah, of a five part arc, uh, Phoenix shows up again because he he comes back obviously after the one punch he got. <laughs> dumb dummies, buddy. Phoenix shows up, returns them to the ship outside of the crystal, and then... There's a lot of teleporting to... It's like, annoying. That, I don't like it. It's way too much. It's I would like, have been yeah, happy if this entire arc was in space, and, and then, then, like, yeah, and then yeah, Charles yeah. Xavier at home, like, what can I do to help? He's like, you can't do shit. You're in fucking Muir Island. But, you know, teleport. No, yeah, so she, yeah, she just teleports them out, and then Phoenix says they should join the Matrix of Crystal Energy to shut it down. Remember whatever that, whatever is, that means. This is some fucking weird things where they all hold hands and... Yeah, they... Oh, she's saying, like... Is this where... Is this the... I can't remember if this is the one or the Dark Phoenix where they all hold hands to give a piece of themselves to help. That's I think that's Dark Phoenix. That's fine. This, this is a similar idea, though. Okay. This is a similar idea. And then she so, does the floating so, kiss. She has the so, floating kiss to say. straight out of Care Bears, love saves all. We all hold hands and stare. Yeah. That, yeah, that's the that's in Dark Phoenix when they... We'll, we'll, we'll come around. The, the, but but it also happens in this, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Phoenix, next one, Captain Planet, the Crystal... <laughs> Cap, Captain Planet. <laughs> Captain Planet, the Crystal Close and seal it. And she takes it to the center of the sun, and everything disintegrates. Or does it? 
That's all this episode miss, miss, the, was the, missing. Yeah, the aliens fuck off. Psych doesn't find out about Corsair. And Wolverine does his classic. Nothing's really Jane resolved. Girl. If I was an X-Men like, member, I'd be like, what the fuck just happened? Because everything happened fast. And then, I, like, is this, like, the villain wasn't even really a villain. Oh, he, he just laughed. Eric, Eric the Red was more of a villain than... He was, because he was in it, like, he, he opposed them directly, and then... And had a plan. Because once Deken got he his power... He had pow- a plan. Yeah, Deken just had the crystal and then became powerful, and then he was gone. It, it was... Ugh, it wasn't great. Jafar didn't do well. I, when I was at Watch as a kid, I thought this shit was epic. I was like, this is incredible. I remember not liking the space episodes. I remember just thinking... I was like, I don't like this. I just remember the Phoenix is so powerful. These That's are, what I remember. I was like, these are people I don't know. Yeah. Oh, oh the Shi'ar? Yeah. Oh, that yeah. shit. I was, yeah. like, I was like, this is the best ones. I was like, is it? I don't know if it's the best one, but I, I remember it? the story. This was like one of well, the Well, I'm here to tell you something, nine-year-old Dank. You were correct. These, so are, many, these are not the best. How many bottle caps are you in it? Here's the thing. I want to recommend the TV series because that's fucking amazing. The TV series is... This started. arc isn't that great. No, it's, it was, not it was for, okay. Not for what Phoenix is. Not for what the X-Men can do. Not for what the Shi'ar in the comic books have done. So I feel no, like it was so short. everything was surface level. And well, you got to think, the Phoenix Saga and, and the Dark Phoenix in the comics took like 20 plus issues, right? It, it was an event. Yeah, this was just five episodes and they were rushing too. For what reason, I don't know though. Yeah. Like, no one said, there was no clamoring for like the public. Like, you need to show us Jean Grey as a Phoenix. We need five. Like, nobody was saying yeah. that. No. You, uh, you Stretch this out a half You had car blanche yeah. to tell, tell yeah. us this story if you wanted to tell yeah, the story. Yeah, you should stretch it 10 episodes if you want. And you did. Have little things going on while she's still. Well, you did. You still stretch it out. but Because here's, I'll argue, the second half of this Phoenix is 10 times better. But this gets, what do we do, out of four? This gets a, a bottle cop, man. I was going to give it two. Mm. That, that's that's for nostalgia's purposes. You're right. Yeah. If you're I'm, looking I'm at biased. this first time, you're like, "What does this mean?" You 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 didn't use Juggernaut to the best abilities. Nope. Banshee's pointless. Phoenix. Um. Half of the X Men aren't needed. No. You get, Storm does nothing. By no. the way, Storm does absolutely nothing. This whole really fire really the fight yeah. coup should have just been G. Beast, all beasts are fascinating. Beast and Rogue and Rogue. You're yeah. good. Gambit like charges something, but again, Gambit doesn't do anything. He doesn't, either. but you know, no. right? Ju- Jubilee, we Wolverine, already know. She never does I mean, Wolverine cuts a door. Yeah, no, he has some he one-liners smells. though. The yeah. one-liners are funny, and that's not that's that's not another bottle cap word. No, it's not. No, okay. So wait, you, you get it one? I'm giving it one. I think you should double okay. down to one and a half. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll go one and a half. There you go. 